Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to read and learn about what it was it like on the boat over to America. So as I read, I want you looking and listening for details to describe what were the conditions like? How did the people feel? What happened when they came over to America on the boats? A difficult trip. Immigrants from Europe had to cross the Atlantic Ocean to reach America. During Ellis Island's busiest years, immigrants came on steamships. The voyage lasted about 12 days. Most steamship passengers traveled in steerage. These tickets were the cheapest. <clears throat> but in steerage, it was uncomfortable and dangerous. No fresh air reached this part of the ship. Hundreds of people packed into crowded bunks. The vomit of seasick passengers covered the floor. Most immigrants couldn't wait to arrive in America and get off the ship. I don't blame them. I'll look at this illustration here and I'm wondering what is this illustration showing me? And how can it help me understand what I just read? Well, I'm going to read the caption. It says, this drawing shows steerage passengers on their way to America. So not only, did I, not only did I learn about the voyage or the trip over through the words, but I also learned about it through this picture. And these people don't look too happy or comfortable. And this map shows us the passage that they took to the United States. <clears throat> And it says where Ellis Island immigrants came from. Some came from Europe. Others came from, well, Eastern and Southern Europe. This was the Northern and Western Europe. And Asia and South America. Let's learn some more about the boat trip over. <clears throat> it was a hard journey. The journey across the Atlantic Ocean was terrible. Steamships were crowded and dirty, especially in steerage. Steerage was jam-packed, filthy, and had hardly any fresh air. There were no windows and no room to move around. There were no proper toilets. Two or three of every five steerage passengers suffered from sickness. Spreading sickness. Diseases and other illnesses spread quickly on the ships because they were so crowded and dirty. Many people got trachoma, which was a contagious eye disease that caused blindness. Other people got sick with typhoid, an infection caused by bacteria in contaminated food or water. Immigrants who were sick or weak would be held back at the immigration station. Contaminated is bold, and I'm going to look down here, and it says, Contaminated means not pure and so unsafe to eat and drink. So that's part of what caused them to get very, very sick. And if I look at these illustrations here, I can probably tell that these people weren't too comfortable and they weren't too happy. Just looking, I can see some of them even look very sick. And it says here, the trip from Europe was rough. The food was bad. You couldn't even eat at a table. We used to eat like beggars there. We ate sitting on the floor. And this is from someone who actually immigrated from Italy in 1912 when they were 15. And finally, I see this illustration here and I see this little boy is holding his nose and if I read what he's trying to say, it says it smells like stinky feet. Life on the boat. The boat was crowded and stuffy. The only air came from a small door or hatch that led up to the deck of the ship. And you can see just from this picture here that they were very crowded and not very comfortable or happy. So I hope you learned a lot about the trip over to America for the immigrants. And remember, if you have any tasks this week that require you to talk about the boat ride over, this would be a good video to come back to, to find some details.